take two. Hey guys, this is a video. I'm just going to tell you about my favorite Halloween movies. And today my guests are Mayor from Halloween Town and Mr. Boogeyman. So, yes, I know it's kind of cheesy, but it's Halloween and people love to get into the mood. So I'm in the Halloween mood right now. So let's get started. First movie I'm going to talk about is Under Wraps. And Under Wraps is about a mummy who somehow activates and he wants to find his true love. And then he has to become, oh no, he has to get back in his coffin before sun rises. So there's a lot of drama, romance, and just plain comedy. So I totally recommend this. It first came out on Disney, but now it's on DVD. And I think I got it for like $5. Next, Edward Scissorhands. This movie's got action, romance, jealousy, everything that makes a good movie worth watching. So I would definitely check this out. This one was a gift. It's got Johnny Depp, who's super cute. And these are the main characters, Winona Ryder and Johnny Depp. It's funny too, so I totally recommend it. Next movie is... It's The Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown. This is just your classic kids movie that you gotta watch for Halloween. Snoopy's in the pumpkin patch. It's super cute. Um, I think it's only like, oh, it's only 25 minutes, but it's cute. And it's a good one you could show to your kids. Next movie. This one, um, I, I consider it a Halloween movie because, well, it's kind of dark and like crazy things happen in it. So it's called A Series of Unfortunate Events with Jim Carrey. And it's got um, these three kids who are very smart and they go through a lot of obstacles because their uncle is crazy and he just wants to kill them for their money. So, yeah. And it's got that guy, this girl, and Jen Carey. I don't know. I don't remember her name. I think it's Emily. Well, the character is Emily, but I forgot her name. I know this is Liam... Liam something. I forgot, but it's a good movie. I really like it. Okay, so next I'm going to talk about is Little Vampires. And this one is so cute. It's got that kid from Stuart Little, I think. I think it looks like him. And then it's got some other kid. I don't know what his name is. But, like, he's a good actor, too. And this is a cute movie. And it takes place in Ireland or Scotland. I don't remember. But, like, it's nice. It's a nice area with a lot of greenery. And it's funny and it's cute. So, I recommend it. Next movie is, of course, Nightmare for Christmas. Duh. This takes place in Halloween Town. Where these peoples come from. Yeah, keep your happy face on. So, I totally recommend this. At first, I saw it when I was little. And then, um, it wasn't until junior high, I think. Junior high or high school when I, like, got rolled into it again. And then, like, all of a sudden, all these people, all these poser kids got into it. And I'm just kidding. Oh my god, my hat. Hat drama. Okay. Grabbing the next one. Twilight. Because, duh, has vampires or werewolves. It ain't about the romance. I'm just kidding. It's all about the romance. But I don't know why, because it's not that romantic. I'm just kidding. It is romantic. But I don't know. I just see it as something fun to watch. But, yeah, a lot of people watch it for the romance. Not so much for the, like, vampire werewolf stuff. So, anyways. Next one is Beetlejuice. 
Yeah, I love Beetlejuice. This one is fun. It's got a lot of good music in it. He's kind of a perv, but like it was funny anyways. So yeah, it's classic. Classic. Everybody should have seen this by now. And it's got um Winona Ryder in it also. And she is also in excuse me. She's also in this one. She's in both of these. Oh, and I have an Edward Scissor Hands poster back there. Cause I love it. Sorry. And this one. Okay. Going for the next movie. Corpse Bride. This is a very cute movie. It came out, um, I don't know if it came out recently, but, like, it's cute, and basically, like, he accidentally gets married with a deceased woman who was about to get married, but then got killed for her wedding. So. Cute movie. I recommend it. Next is The Craft. The Craft is a little hardcore. I think it's a 90s movie. But yeah, it's about witches. Not this movie. This is a perv movie, which isn't Halloween. This movie right here. When I first watched it, I was like, wow, that's really good effects. Um, I was kind of late in the game because everybody had already seen it already. And by the time I saw it, it was already older. So I was kind of freaked out, but then I was like, it's pretty good. Still got like five more movies. The next one is Sleepy Hollow. Look at that. I like this movie a lot. It's got good effects. Um, I like Christina Ricci a lot. I think she's cool. And it's just a good movie in general. It's got funny moments, it's got romance, action, uh, blood, so it's good. Um, this one, Bewitched, I think it has the first episode. Um, I like to watch this as a kid all the time because it was about witch, and I was always a witch when I was a kid. So, yeah, I recommend this. This one, I got it for my boyfriend, I think it's the first episode. The first three episodes. Yeah, it's the first three episodes. So it's a TV show. I don't know if they have it on Netflix, but I got this one. I have no idea where he gets those DVDs from. Anyway, and then he also gave me Monster Squad. This one's a good one. It's uh, it's from the 80s, and it's got comedy and um, action. It looks cheesy, but it's kind of like The Goonies. It's kind of, which is another good Halloween movie, by the way. I don't know where my VHS is at. But the Goonies, I love the Goonies. And so this one's kind of like the Goonies, except it's got actual monsters. And it's kind of like under wraps where they have to um, beat a time. Uh, beat the dawn or something like that. So it looks cheesy, but it's not. It's like really good graphics. You'll get freaked out. But it's a good kids movie. So. Recommend. Next one is Goosebumps, Attack of the Jack-O-Lanterns. I really liked all the Goosebumps movies. I didn't read them that much. My sister did, but I watched all of the movies. <laughs> and there's also one with a mask and a whole bunch of them. So this is representing all the other um, Goosebumps movies. I recommend them all. So, yeah, and they're pretty scary too. They're not like cheesy they're pretty scary and one last movie is Casper I love this movie it is so cute I even watch it when it's not Halloween just because like the feel of it is just like I love the weather and the fall leaves and everything in this movie and the three ghosts are super hilarious those that's the back of it those are pictures so yeah, and it's got romance, like I thought that Casper, like the when he was in real life, at the end he was like super cute. I think his name was Sean, but I'm not sure, like his real name, his actor name, 
but I remember everybody thought he was cute, like the real Casper. So, yeah, good movie. Totally recommend it. So, those are all the movies. I feel like I talked a lot. I don't know. But it's 10 minutes. Yay. So, yeah. Thank you for watching. And I hope you check out all those movies. And I'm not going to be this for Halloween. It's just one of my old costumes. Like, I have a bunch of them. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you check out the movies. And if you know of any better ones or good ones, put them, put them down in the comments. Bye.